Hey everybody, it's Sunnier's for Toy Flux. Call what? That? Pardon me, let me restart that. Hey everybody, it's Something Whisper Troy Flux, call me Flux for short, or whatever you want to call me. Uh, call me tongue-tied at the moment. <laughs> In the last episode, I said a lot of nothing, and we made our way down to the bottom of the pirate mines, eventually. It was, I think it was kind of a longer-ish episode, but that can tend to happen. But, yes, in the last episode, actually I want to make a point here. This pirate data here, that was, in fact, the last one. We have all the pirate data scans. We have all the Chozo lore scans. We have all the artifact scans. We have all the re research scans. We only are missing <coughs> the rest of the creature scans. And I went through and made, made sure all the creatures that I haven't seen that I can know of account for those. We are definitely on track for 100% scans. And what's more? Let's grab, let's beat this guy. This room seems a little odd. You can scan things, but the easy solution is just to shoot that to defrost everything. Shoot that with the plasma beam specifically. That kind of chill effect in the air is kind of weird, but neat. But also, it kind of keeps having trouble going away. But yes, in this room, this this is what this is what we've been digging our way down to find. Let's see how this goes. I do not know if I'm ready for this because it's been so long since I've played this game. Well, this is the same recording session as the last episode. I just did some quick checking between episodes and now I'm recording again. This is the Omega Pirate that the pirate scans were telling us about. Most powerful of the elite pirate forces. Can become invisible to normal sight, is vulnerable when cloaked, as all energy is drawn from defense systems. By exposing itself to phase on, it can regenerate damage on tissue and organs. Considered a cool program. Should be handled with extreme caution and maximum firepower. One thing you want to want to, want to do is when you're dodging out of the way of things, you you will kind of want to be careful to avoid the phase on on the floor because that's gonna be a big hindrance gonna take out all of its phase on bubbles on its joints which is a little weird and then it's gonna cloak itself yes Now when it cloaks itself, it goes, it spawns some random small enemies, which you can either deal with or kind of do what I'm doing and do that. Depends on what, what they are specifically, what you're probably going to want to do. These are plasma troopers, I'll just get rid of these quickly. Okay, and when it when it goes to the phase on to, to heal itself, it'll regenerate these little bubbles, which is why they don't they don't count on its health being taken away. So basically, this is just a first step. Once once these are gone, it'll make itself invisible and try to heal itself. But when it does that, if you are if you're good, you can 
do, then do damage to actually damage it while it's trying to heal itself. Can't heal that damage if you from that from doing this. So let's see what does it give us? Uh, an ice trooper and a wave trooper and another ice trooper. These troopers can also give you plenty of extra health. You might want to just deal with a couple of them <laughs> at a time. Like, if one is still there pestering you while, he, while the pirate is getting hurt, then that's acceptable. Okay. Now that I think about it, this battle actually isn't all that hard unless you screw up a lot. But it can be sort of tedious, I think. Because you have to do these steps to damage it every single time. I'm using a lot of missiles, but fortunately, I already have a lot of missiles as well. Yeah. Of course, every now and again, I waste a few. <laughs> okay. Once again, you're going to make yourself invisible and give me some enemies to fight. What are you going to give me this time? Some ice troopers. Um. Okay. Where are you going to show up? Okay. You could probably technically deal it multiple things of the real damage in one go, but it's often just as easy to let it go and clean up the rest of the troopers that you have to get rid of. So, that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, if you will, please let me destroy your right shoulder. Now, what kind of enemies are you going to give me? You are going to give me ice and plasma. These seem to be the ones they give me, you the most often. Okay. There we go. And now he's dead. And he falls over on top of you and kills you. Game over. No, not really. Instead, he kind of dissolves away into phase on, which is kind of gross, to be perfectly honest. And then explodes, and you suddenly have an uglier suit than you had before. The phase on suit acquired. Your suit has been infused with pure Phazon. This corruption prevents damage from Phazon radiation. Basically, and also you get a ton of healing and missiles and stuff. Basically, that takes over and you're no longer damaged from being in Phazon, which is wonderful. <laughs> Could have used that a little bit ago, but I digress. Now, what we're going to want to actually do here is we're going to want to make our way back to before here.
back to it earlier on. These void bombus are bombooing ing. We're not gonna worry about them. I'm gonna take the time to check the missile station because I used a lot. But that is not where we've been or actually trying to go, technically. It's just a nice, convenient place. Uh, oops, um, I'm gonna just turn on my thermal visor and not be an idiot. Actually, well, now that I'm down here, I might as well just go to where I'm going first, rather than anything else. Oh, that was a little bit of an interesting ex in demonstration of a glitch. If you try and take a Metro if you try and pull a Metroid through a door, it'll instantly explode. But anyway, here, remember where I said to remember this? Now that we don't take damage from Phazon, we can actually go through here in the Phazon mining tunnel. The tunnel. These rock are based so basically so that you can't actually get down here from as you were before until you have the phase on suit. And this will give us Chozo Artifact number twelve. The artifact of newborn, the last of twelve. Yes. And with that, we are now capable of entering the entering the final area of the game with the with the Chozar artifacts all assembled, the way to the impact crater will open itself. But before we go there, um, I'm gonna fail at getting to the missile expansion a couple times. Miss missile like expansion missile recharge room, and then uh, you know what? Actually, I think I will. Since I'm not really doing a whole lot of anything important, I will meet you back at the room where we fought the Omega Pirate just now. Once I get back there. So, yes. That will be when I see you again. Okay, we are back. Let's activate this platform to go up to the upper levels of the room. We could have gone up here before, but we didn't. So that's why we didn't. Solid logic, huh? don't think there's anything of importance there. There's basically a lump of phase on in the middle of the room. And... For beating that boss, we, in we also get the final energy tank in the game. It just kind of gives it to you. Let's open this security gate, which basically dumps us into a tunnel full of phase on. Down here at the bottom of the phase on processing center. See?
this is kind of where I was coming from. Now there's tons of different enemies of different elements here. There's one, at least one of every element. Now that you no longer take damage from the phase on, you can jump around without worrying about that. <laughs> Mega turrets too. So yes. This room is actually where we are going to start our final sweep of all the rest of the pickups in the game. Because you can have 100% of the pickups before you go to the to the impact crater. So we're going to want to make sure we have all of those. We have all the energy tanks. At this point it's just going to be power bombs and missiles. Wow. You are immune to the phase on, but the pirates are not. <laughs> Duly noted. Okay, not sure what that was. Hmm. I don't know, I, and at this point, I don't care. I'm just gonna work my way up. Yes, yeah, something's firing at me. I think it's the plasma trooper from from earlier. From up here. Which is why I switched to my plasma beam. But, yeah. Whoa! You just did a mega dash. Sir? Yes. But yeah, this room, there's definitely some things to do. Some invisible platforms. Nope, that's going to take a power bomb, isn't it? Yep. So, 225 missiles. Eh. I don't know. One slight problem I have with this game is that there's really no easy way of knowing whether you've gotten everything in a room or not. You have to actually No, I suppose is one way of putting it. Okay, um, okay. This room is causing me a lot of problems already. But... It, shall, it shan't be doing so for long, I don't believe, because I think there's only one other thing to really do here. Yes. From this pillar, you can go up to the top level of the room. Which... Okay, you've got a... You've got you up there. And 
And that turret, I'm just gonna incinerate right off the bat. Now up in this upper level, I think. There's again things to do. You got a nice view out of here into the mine area. Okay. This incessant falling is not going to be fun. That's going to be the title of this episode, Falling Down. <laughs> because between the Omega Pirate falling down on top of us, and... And then us keep falling and tumbling down in here. There's basically a lot of falling going on. But yes, let's actually see what we can accomplish. Is there anything over here? No, I do not believe that's going to be it. I think it might be just as simple as actually making it to the top of the room. Or is this even a, an expansion, or is it just the way out? Well, either way, if there's, if there's something I missed in here, I will get it later. Now, we've got this little place place you do a lift to Magmore Cavern South and yes This takes us to the other side of this little obstruction. Ow, sir. You are in the way. And that takes us right back to here, to this room with the terrible collision detection on that piston. But more importantly, what's what there is to remember in this area is over here, past the elevator, to Vendrana. That is this save station where I will call it an episode. So, everybody who watches this, I will accept your advice. Um, respond, vibrate, feedback, and resonate in the comments below. Tell me what I did right, wrong, left, right. I said right twice in two different meanings. Up, down, around and around. All around. Yes. See you guys next time when we basically go on a quest for 100% completion before we go on and take on the final bosses of the game. Yes, I said bosses. Spoilers.